Hello and welcome to the Manchester United News Channel. It's a pleasure to have you here. Please subscribe to the channel to stay updated on everything happening with the Red Devils, our beloved club. Without further ado, let's dive into the latest news from Manchester United that we've prepared for you. Bombshell News, Manchester United parts ways with striker Mason Greenwood. Dear friends and fellow Manchester United enthusiasts, hold on to your seats because we have news that will rock the football world. Social media is already buzzing, and fans are going wild over the recent revelation that will leave everyone in awe. Do you believe in sports twists and turns? Brace yourselves for an epic twist that's shaking the football universe. On Monday, August 21, Manchester United made a stunning decision regarding the future of young striker Mason Greenwood. Believe me, folks, this decision caught everyone by surprise. Greenwood, a talented young star at just 21 years old, had already etched his name into the club's history as one of Manchester United's greatest prospects. However, his brilliant career came to an abrupt halt due to a serious accusation that shocked the world. Accusations of assault and sexual violence against his ex-girlfriend, Harriet Robson, had loomed over Greenwood since January 2022 when he was arrested. The model shared shocking images on social media, allegedly depicting the aftermath of these dreadful incidents. Despite posting bail and being released, Greenwood remained away from the field ever since. But here's the twist, in February of this year, the accusations were mysteriously dropped. The English club then decided to conduct internal investigations to assess the player's situation. As the new season approached, coach Eric Ten Hag surprised everyone by including Greenwood in the squad, but he was never utilised on the field. Now, dear readers, get ready for the bombshell that will leave everyone speechless. Greenwood has been officially released by Manchester United to seek a new club. Yes, you heard it right. The Red Devils have issued an official statement stating that, after careful deliberation, they have decided that it's in the best interest of all parties involved for Greenwood to distance himself from Old Trafford. In the club's words, all parties involved, including Mason, acknowledge the challenges he would face in resuming his career at Manchester United. Therefore, it was mutually agreed that it would be more appropriate for him to do so away from Old Trafford, and we will now work with Mason to achieve this outcome. But wait, there's more to this intriguing story. What really happened? What led to this decision? Did Greenwood really commit the terrible acts he was accused of? In Greenwood's statement, he asserted, In my upbringing, I was taught that violence and abuse in any kind of relationship are wrong, and I have not done what I am accused of. In fact, in February of this year, I was cleared of all charges. Nevertheless, I fully accept that I made mistakes in my relationship, and I take responsibility for the actions that led to my social media post. This news is making waves, isn't it? But we won't stop here because there are more hidden details to this story than meets the eye. According to Manchester United's statement, the investigative process began in February 2023 after all charges against Mason Greenwood were dropped. The club emphasised that they considered the wishes, rights, and perspectives of the alleged victim, along with the team's standards and values. Based on the available evidence, the club concluded that the allegations did not provide a complete picture and Mason did not commit the crimes he was originally accused of. However, the player publicly acknowledges his mistakes and is taking responsibility for them. Now, what does this mean for Mason Greenwood's future and for Manchester United? How will it affect the team's dynamics in the upcoming season? Speculations are running high, but only time will reveal the real outcome. Bombshell News, Manchester United surprises and moves forward with signing off the radar of goalkeeper. Loyal Manchester United supporters. We have news that will keep you on the edge of your seats until the end. Now, let's get to the heart of the news that has left fans eagerly anticipating. Get ready, because this is a twist you won't see coming. Even after securing the signing of Andre Onana as their first choice goalkeeper, Manchester United is not slowing down in the transfer market. In fact, they are on the verge of making a move that has taken everyone by surprise. Negotiations are in their final stages, but there are still some medical details to be sorted out before it's official. According to reports from the English newspaper, The Athletic, Manchester United is actively negotiating to sign goalkeeper Altai Bayinda from Fenerbahce. However, there's an interesting twist in the story. The club wants to assess the physical condition of the 25-year-old goalkeeper, who has been dealing with a back problem. 
they subjected him to a series of medical examinations this Tuesday, 22, in Athens, Greece, to get a complete picture of his situation. The signing is closer than ever before. Turkish journalist Yasabunkuolu has reported that Bayinda has successfully passed Manchester United's medical examinations, and now the deal is rapidly approaching a happy conclusion. According to the Turkish journalist, the Red Devils have agreed to pay a 7 million euro release clause to bring the player from Fenerbahce. But hold on a moment, folks, we're not done with the twists just yet. The Athletic cautions that the final green light for this transfer depends on another situation. Manchester United still wants to negotiate the future of Dean Henderson before finalising the deal with Bayinda. The English goalkeeper spent the last season at Nottingham Forest and is now a target for Crystal Palace. The negotiations might involve an initial loan deal and an obligation to buy for €15 million Euros in 2024-25. Manchester United plans to have Bayinda as their backup goalkeeper, behind Onana and ahead of Heaton in the goalkeeping hierarchy. In this current transfer window, the English club also sold young goalkeeper Matej Kovar to Bayer Leverkusen for an initial fee of €6 million. Euros. Now, let's delve a bit deeper into the man of the hour, Altai Bayinda, the potential new addition to Manchester United's roster. At 25 years old, Bayinda is Turkish and has spent his entire career playing for clubs in his home country. He began his career at Ankara Gukyu, a modest club, where he played for four seasons but wasn't a regular starter. During his time with the development team, he made just 31 appearances. However, he caught the eye of Fenerbahce, one of Turkey's giants, and joined them in the 2019-20 season. Since then, he's been a consistent presence in the blue and yellow jersey. With over 100 appearances and a call-up to the Turkish national team, his journey appears to be reaching a thrilling conclusion. 145 appearances. 162 goals conceded. 44 clean sheets. With Bayinda likely on his way out, Fenerbahce is close to securing the services of Dominic Livakovic, the Dinamo Zagreb goalkeeper who made waves for Croatia in the last World Cup. So, Manchester United fans, what do you think about this exciting goalkeeper move that could change the game for the Red Devils? Bombshell news, Manchester United in the astonishing race for £20 million midfielder, the Slippery Cobra. Ladies and gentlemen, Manchester United fans, brace yourselves for a new story that will keep you intrigued and captivated until the very end. This is a revelation that has just rocked the football world and will surely keep you on the edge of your seats. In the Chinese zodiac, Ryan Gravenberch may not have been born in the year of the snake, but that doesn't stop him from describing himself as one. Now, let's get straight to the heart of the matter, a revelation that has left fans in eager anticipation. Manchester United, amid early season challenges, has been linked to none other than Ryan Gravenberch. The early season optimism at Old Trafford has dimmed a bit, thanks to some disappointing performances to kick off the new campaign. On opening night, the Reds secured a 1-0 victory over Wolves, despite not being at their best. However, their away woes from the previous season continued with a 2-0 loss to Tottenham on Saturday, despite an encouraging first half. This has raised more questions than answers for Eric Ten Hag, with the most pressing issue being the midfield. Mason Mount was the first summer signing, a player the United manager was determined to acquire and delighted to have in the squad. He possesses attributes to fit perfectly into the red system. However, the early signs of the English international's performance in an advanced midfield position alongside Bruno Fernandes, with Casemiro playing behind, were concerning. It's no surprise to see United's links with midfielders intensify. Here comes the twist. Ryan Gravenberch, the slippery Cobra midfielder, has expressed his desire to play more, preferably at Bayern Munich or at a club where he can play 100% of the time. He made this clear earlier this year, saying, that's where my preference is because I don't want another year like the one I've had now. He added, training and playing at the highest level for a year is beautiful and instructive, although it's mostly training. That needs to change next season, I really want to play week in, week out. We'll see what happens. But it's clear that this role doesn't meet my expectations. His expectations are to play regularly, while Manchester United's expectations are to compete at the top domestically and internationally. Given the Red Devils' early season struggles, Gravenberch could offer an intelligent solution. Gravenberch's style mirrors the characteristics of his sign in the Chinese zodiac, the horse, known for being active and energetic. United could certainly benefit from these qualities. 
And so, Gravenbercher's name has returned to United's list. Bayern Munich's midfielder had limited time in his first season in Bavaria, being an unused substitute on his season debut. He has also been linked with Liverpool. The German giants value him at around £22 million, and a possible loan exit has also been discussed, considering that the Dutch international arrived in the Bundesliga from Ajax just 12 months ago. This tall and slender midfielder, standing at 1.83 metres, has compared himself to former Red Paul Pogba and humorously described himself as a snake, due to his agility and dribbling ability. In an interview, he said, I'm kind of like a snake. Long, quite narrow, and I slither all over the place. I can learn a lot from Paul Pogba, he's a bit of a snake too. Pogba has shown glimpses of his world-class ability at United, and Gravenberch, with a similar physical build and the same driving ability in midfield, could offer the same consistent threat in all areas that Pogba failed to deliver during his time at Old Trafford. United fans can easily draw this comparison, given that Gravenberch has previously worked with manager Eric Ten Hag in the Dutch capital. His abilities as a box-to-box -box midfielder would provide the Reds with something they currently lack. He offers an option on the left side, can shield the defence, retain possession, and advance. He is skillful with the ball and tactically intelligent, vital skills for success in the Premier League. And while he may not offer as much goal threat as some of his contemporaries, he could be the missing link that Manchester United needs, especially when playing on the counter away from home. At the age of 15, just before becoming Ajax's youngest debutant, an impressive feat given the quality of players produced by the Amsterdam team, he was coveted by PSG but chose to stay at the club, prioritizing his development over immediate financial gain. His father, Ryan Senior, said at the time, he could go anywhere. I've seen all the clubs, linked to him. Many millions of euros came up, but we discussed it calmly at home. The move to a European giant was inevitable and happened 12 months ago, for years after his senior debut. However, his journey at Bayern hasn't been entirely smooth, with regular starting opportunities seeming limited again this season under the guidance of Thomas Tuchel. So, Manchester United fans, what do you make of this thrilling development in the pursuit of Ryan Gravenberch, the slippery cobra midfielder who could be the key to unlocking success for the Red Devils? Manchester United receives message from Keiru Mitoma amid Jadon Sancho and Anthony struggles. Ladies and gentlemen, Manchester United fans, fasten your seatbelts, for we have news that will leave you on the edge of your seats until the end. This is a revelation that has recently surfaced and has sent fans into an absolute frenzy. Keiru Mitoma, the shining star of Brighton and Hove Albion, has sent a message that could potentially change the course of Manchester United's season. The footballing world is buzzing with excitement over this development. Keiru Mitoma, the 26-year-old Japanese international, has experienced a meteoric rise since the beginning of last season, establishing himself as one of the Premier League's most consistent performers. His journey to stardom began when he made his debut for the Seagulls in August last year, following a successful loan spell at Union SG in Belgium during the 2021-22 campaign. Mitoma excelled in his debut season at the Amex Stadium, scoring 10 goals and providing 8 assists in all competitions. His contributions were instrumental in securing Europa League qualification for Brighton, and their remarkable journey to the FA Cup semi-finals. In this season, Mitoma has continued his remarkable form, scoring one goal and registering two assists in Brighton's first two Premier League matches, helping them secure impressive 4-1 victories over Luton Town and Wolves. He capped off this fantastic start with a spectacular solo goal against Wolves, leaving fans and pundits in ecstasy. As Mitoma continues to go from strength to strength, it's no surprise that he is now attracting the attention of some of Europe's biggest clubs. However, the real surprise here is the belief of former Manchester United loanee, Garth Crooks. He insists that Mitoma is the player Manchester United should be pursuing, stating that he offers more than both Jadon Sancho and Anthony. Yes, you heard that right. Crooks, in a recent interview with BBC Sport, said, Manchester United have Jadon Sancho and Anthony in their ranks, and I haven't seen anything like the quality or ability from either of those two players that I have seen from this lad. It's a bold statement and has fans wondering, how did Manchester United get it so wrong? While we acknowledge that Old Trafford is an intimidating stage with much higher stakes, Mitoma's performances have been nothing short of extraordinary. Crooks firmly believes that Keiru Mitoma is destined to wear the iconic Manchester United jersey. 
Speaking about Mitoma's remarkable goal against Wolves, Crooks added, what a goal. The run, control, and quality of finish against Wolves were world-class. In fact, Mitoma has been producing this type of form with such regularity that I can't believe he's still on the south coast. So, Manchester United fans, what do you make of this stunning development? Could Keiru Mitoma be the missing piece in the puzzle that changes the course of the Red Devils season? Share your thoughts in the comments below, and make sure you're subscribed to our channel with notifications turned on to stay updated on this exciting story as it unfolds. Breaking news, Manchester United shakes fans with last-minute revelation. Dear Manchester United fans, you are about to embark on a news journey that will keep you on the edge of your seats until the very last second. This is a revelation that has just rocked the football world and is sure to get your pulses racing. Now, let's get straight to the matter that has left Manchester United fans on the verge of a nervous breakdown. Recently, Robbie Savage, former Wales international, sent a transfer message that could have changed the destiny of the club. Savage believes that Manchester United should have gone all out to sign the English national team captain, Harry Kane, from Tottenham Hotspur in this summer's transfer window. As reported by the Manchester Evening News back in March of this year, United's manager, Eric Ten Hag, identified Kane as his top priority to bolster the Reds' attacking force. Sources indicated that Ten Hag was obsessed with the 30-year-old striker. However, Tottenham was never willing to sell Kane to a Premier League rival. They accepted an offer, reportedly in the range of £100 million, from Bayern Munich earlier this month. Kane joined the German club on a four-year contract, and marked his first start for the team with a goal in last Friday night's 4-0 victory over Werder Bremen. He also provided an assist. Meanwhile, Manchester United turned to young Danish talent Rasmus Hodgland in an attempt to solve their goal-scoring problems. He joined the club for an initial £64 million earlier this month but has yet to make his debut due to injury. United is facing major issues in two areas, in my opinion, midfield and the centre-forward position, Savage said in an interview for Football 365 on behalf of Planet Sport Bet. Hodgland has arrived, but he hasn't started a game or played a single minute. They should have gone all out for Kane. He would guarantee goals, but he's gone to Bayern Munich for £100 million. Some will say, it's a short-term signing due to his age, but he would guarantee goals in the Premier League. That was a massive move they should have made at the start of the transfer window. Pouring everything, all your emotions and energy into getting Kane, but it didn't happen. Assessing United's start to the season, Savage added, United hasn't had a great start to the season. Yes, they secured three points against Wolves, but they played really poorly and lacked energy. Then against Spurs, they had better spells. The first 20 minutes were good, they should have had a penalty for handball and Anthony hit the post. They didn't play too badly, but they lost the game. Now, we want to hear your opinion. What do you think of this stunning revelation from Robbie Savage? Could Harry Kane have been the solution to Manchester United's goal-scoring problems? Well, Red Devils fans, what do you think about this? Did you expect it or not? Please share your opinion in the comments, I'd love to hear what you think. And stay tuned to the channel because I'm always posting the latest news about Manchester United. Don't forget to subscribe so you won't miss any important updates from our beloved club.